The mayor has created a city sustainability department and a plan, RBA Green. How can RPS become more green? I'm not sure what recommendations have come out of the sustainability um, task force. Um, but I think certainly some sustainable, uh, some green effort has, is being put into the new buildings that are being built. I know um, also some of the schools, kids are paying attention to gardening and conservation efforts and so forth and actually having some hands-on projects, uh, which I think is good for um, students to get involved in that. So many of the kids have not had the opportunity um, to get their hands dirty and do some gardening and understand the relationship between um, uh, nature and, um, and, and, and working to save the environment. So I think more of those kinds of programs <coughs> is good. That hands-on experience for the students is good. And um, I know as we, as we hopefully build additional buildings um, down, the, down the road that the, that, that that um, opportunities to incorporate some green concepts will be in, in, included in the new in the new buildings. Um, I'm not sure what it would take as you retrofit if you have to retrofit some of the old buildings, but certainly as we think about the new buildings and the involvement of students, I think it's been really good in terms of um, helping parents as well as students become aware of conservation and um, and nature. Um, I would say that Richmond Public School, first of all, need to educate their children in what green is. Um, we need to spend more time and let them know that uh, planting trees, uh, gardening, these are things that are green. And if we want to really go inside the schools, we need to look at technology. Our schools in Richmond Public Schools, they have computers, but it's not a computer for everyone. Some of our children don't even know what an iPad is. When you're looking at other localities, they have laptops that they can take home and they can work with. That would eliminate, actually, the paper. Um, actually, there is a shortage on paper also. So um, we will probably, I would say, that we need to go focus more on the technology, that where we can eliminate all the papers and we can actually uh, communicate with our parents on uh, emails and um, that way we would get the parents involved and we can uh, create uh, promoting our student achievement that way. Richmond Public Schools has undergone um, several energy audits and we have schools in a pilot program right now. And what we've learned is that we have uh, reduced our carbon footprint. We've reduced the use of water um, by changing out toilets and sinks and fixtures within the schools and um, we've also saved millions of dollars in those um, schools that we have done the energy audits and implemented the recommendations so I would expand the the pilot into other schools and make sure that we are doing the best that we can with the existing um, facilities that we have to make them more efficient as well as making sure that we are are within our within our budget building green schools that meet the LEED um, certification for gold or better um, in our new construction projects. And just um, one other note, I wanted to add, because there was a comment about a consensus of the board, um, I did vote against um, an increased compensation for our superintendent because I thought it sent the wrong message to the district, to the employees, and to our taxpayers. I think that in hard times we have to make hard decisions um, and a level of commitment is not uh, based on how much we get paid in dollars. Our teachers are, are experiencing pay cuts and they stay in that classroom. They are spending more of their personal dollars to, to provide supplies and, and materials to our students. So um, I did not um, agree with that decision and I still think it was the wrong move for us to send a message to our, our, our staff and to our citizens. Thank you.